one, two, three, testing, testing, maybe see. Okay, we're back. Now, we're doing this solo, as you read from the title. No people, private only. So, I realized how poopy the other video was. So, I decided to make one entirely different. I uh, tried to do this another time. But it, it was pretty much the same poopiness. Mm, gee, I wonder what I have for mail today. I guess so that's what's for mail. What's on this radio? Makes sense. Okie dokie. You wanna jump scare me again? No. Alrighty. Let's get going and going and going over here. Let's try not to get the bad ending this time. I feel like there's some Easter eggs over here, but I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we're loading in. Jabba wobble bobble. Uh, I don't like this part. My monitor is really not suited for this. Oh, I see. I see the light. The guiding light. Doors reference. Any who's. I see the elevator and I see the. Now I'm on top zero. Alrighty. Hey, it's Austin. I'm really sorry about calling you in this late, but I didn't know what else to do with my father being sick and having to be at the hospital all day. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. It should be a rather simple night, and it's been a relatively slow one. Although there is a task that must be finished by tomorrow morning. Sheriff Burke wrote in an interesting woman no one could identify, and they need a cause of death for the press tomorrow. Head to the office and grab the key, then come on back and find our freezer. After that, I'll guide you through the next steps. Okay, it should be simple, he says. What did he say? Can he can he say that again? No. All right. I'm pretty sure he wants me to do something with the the uh, key. Maybe. Possible. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, maybe. Yeah, let's go in the elevator, sure, yeah. <laughs> you would think they'd have better lighting in here, but clearly not. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I can't see squat. All right. Do I touch something with the keys? Austin, buddy, what did you tell me to do? Um, oh. <sighs> oh, come on. I just got the keys. <sighs> All right, here we go again.
Our spooky elevator that somebody, somebody, touched. Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna grab these stupid keys. Am I going the right way? Oh. And these are some small keys. They also seem to be defined defined by laws of physics, but they're keys, they do that. Alrighty. Oh, don't worry about those bells. They're there to make sure the ones who are down stay down. We wouldn't want a dead man walking now, would we? No, we wouldn't. Imagine if I drop the key. Wrong. It's cold. Dang. This should be it. Sweet. Go grab the stretcher to transport her body to the autopsy room. Once you're there, I'll wait for other instructions. Alright. On the way to the stretcher room. Man, you'd think it'd be a shame if something bad were to happen to me on the way to the stretcher room. It's funny that that's not gonna happen though. Oh gee, something bad happened. Oh. What? Electric stretchers? That makes sense. Dude, it just opened the door for itself. Sweet. Go ahead and transport her over to the autopsy room so you can go ahead and get started. Alrighty. I can finally jump. Um, yeah. Sweet. Go ahead and transport her over to the autopsy room so you can go ahead and get started. Uh. I forgot that that happens. <sighs> all right fine all right so before i had to run sheriff berg wheeled this woman in he had informed me that no one knew who she was and they had no idea what could have happened to her well word got to the press about our jane doe here and it's kicked up a real fuss in the public everyone is scared of some killer or someone dumping bodies off here anyways your job is to identify the cause of death or what could have led up to the event. Should be a pretty simple one. Should be pretty simple. Following every step, you must take a photograph. Otherwise, you will not be able to continue. First thing you'll do is inspect her eyes. See if there's any damage or could possibly help identify when she had died. Right. Next, you'll move on to her joints. Mainly the wrists and ankles because it did seem like there was some damage. Following that, you'll need to inspect her fingernails and toenails. There appeared to be some buildup. And just getting some of that sample would be amazing. After that, you might have to check her body for other damage, but you should be safe to move on to the surgical steps. After cutting her open, take a look at her lungs, followed by her heart, and finish with her stomach. That should be all that's needed. You have the tools and equipment necessary to complete those steps. If you get confused, refer to the board. It will list all that you need to do in order. And do not forget, you must take a picture before moving on, or else it could mess things up above us. Meaning, paperwork and... Honestly, who enjoys that? Not me. So if you're ready, go ahead and start whenever. Alright, so I have to look at her eyes. Hmm, that's weird. Her eyes are... Echo! Kind of weird, Stop! A few days, but... I don't know. Echo! We'll just Stop. take a picture and move on to the next step. And it's, I gotta go to school. Frick. I'm gonna see if I can do this. I have like... A few hours. I mean minutes. Alright, the joints you said? Do I take a picture? Oh yeah.
Interesting. Her ankles and wrists have been fractured. That actually scratched that. They've been completely shattered. Maybe this could be caused from being tied up or bound by something extremely tight. Take a picture and see what else you can find. Alright. Hello? We could be looking at a potential human trafficking situation, which could make sense since her joints do support it, and whoever kidnapped her could have buried her, hence the reason she has soil under her finger and toenails. Scratch that, the soil is peat. Extremely rare unless you buy it in a nursery. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen this stuff in ages, which is odd since it's most commonly found in more northeastern states. That also doesn't add up. Clean up the finger and toenails and take a picture and we'll move on. Do I have to? Mm. Mm. Am I using the wrong one? No? Do I need to take a picture? Hello? Eh. Eh. Fingernails and toenails, but I'm doing that. Help me. Help me. I'm stuck. I'm just gonna take this. Put it right there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, they don't really use a scalpel for that, but look at your eyebrows with them. Help me. I'm stuck. I was doing it on the wrong one, wasn't I? What the? I... No, I didn't. Did I? 